Welcome to the 25th episode of our Sudoku series. In this video, I'll walk you through solving this puzzle using 10 essential techniques. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced player, these techniques will help you improve your problem-solving skills. Let's get started. Only one position left in the first box where value 2 can be placed. Only one position left in the third box where value 5 can be placed. Only one position left in the third box where value 8 can be placed. Only one position left in the fourth box where value 8 can be placed. Only one position left in the fifth box where value 8 can be placed. Only one position left in the seventh box where value 4 can be placed. Only one position left in the seventh box where value 7 can be placed. Only one position left in the seventh box where value 8 can be placed. Only one position left in the eighth box where value 5 can be placed. Only one position left in the second box where value 5 can be placed. Only one position left in the second box where value 2 can be placed. Only one position left in the eighth box where value 9 can be placed. Only one position left in the third row where value 7 can be placed. Only one position left in the eighth column where value 2 can be placed. Only one position left in the eighth column where value 4 can be placed. The next solve techniques need to be based on the candidates. All candidates have been filled in. There is an intersection with another region in subgrid 8, value 6 has to be in one of the marked cells. So it cannot be in any other cell in column 4. There is a naked pair in row 4. We have two cells in only two possible values to be placed there. The candidates 1, 6 can be removed from all other cells in the same row. There is a naked pair in column 5. We have two cells in only two possible values to be placed there. The candidates 1, 2 can be removed from all other cells in the same column. There is a naked pair in column 7. We have two cells in only two possible values to be placed there. The candidates 1, 6 can be removed from all other cells in the same column. There is a finned X-wing with value 3 in columns 3 and 5. Either the fish or the fin is true. The fish and the fin are marked in purple and green, respectively. It is possible to eliminate all candidates that would be eliminated by both the fish and the fin. There is an intersection with another region in subgrid 1. Value 3 has to be in one of the marked cells. So it cannot be in any other cell in column 3. There is a naked pair in box 1. We have two cells in only two possible values to be placed there. The candidates 1, 6 can be removed from all other cells in the same box. There is an X chain consisting of three links in value 6. If 6 is not in row 2 column 1, then it has to be in row 2 column 9. If 6 is in row 2 column 9, then it cannot also be in row 3 column 8. If 6 is not in row 3 column 8, then it has to be in row 9 column 8. Therefore value 6 is either in row 2 column 1 or row 9 column 8. Value 6 can be eliminated from any cell that shares a region with both cells. There is an intersection with another region in subgrid 7, value 6 has to be in one of the marked cells. So it cannot be in any other cell in column 2. There is a W wing in value 1. The two cells are row 6 column 2 and row 1 column 4. If 1 is not in row 6 column 2, then row 6 column 2 must be 3, so that row 4 column 1 cannot be 3. If 3 cannot be in row 4 column 1, then row 4 column 4 must be 3. Because 3 only occurs twice in this row. If row 4 column 4 is 3, then row 1 column 4 must not be 3. So the value 1 has to be in one of these cells, row 6 column 2 or row 1 column 4. It may even be in both. 
Value 1 can be eliminated from any cell that shares a region with both cells. There is an X chain consisting of three links in value 6. If 6 is not in row 2 column 9, then it has to be in row 2 column 1. If 6 is in row 2 column 1, then it cannot also be in row 5 column 1. If 6 is not in row 5 column 1, then it has to be in row 6 column 3. Therefore value 6 is either in row 2 column 9 or row 6 column 3. Value 6 can be eliminated from any cell that shares a region with both cells. There is a sashimi x-wing with value 1 in rows 1 and 8. Either the fish or the fin is true. The fish and the fin are marked in purple and green, respectively. It is possible to eliminate all candidates that would be eliminated by both the fish and the fin. There is an intersection with another region in row 9, value 1 has to be in one of the marked cells. So it cannot be in any other cell in subgrid 7. There is an intersection with another region in column 8, value 1 has to be in one of the marked cells. So it cannot be in any other cell in subgrid 3. There is an X chain consisting of three links in value 1. If 1 is not in row 2 column 6, then it has to be in row 2 column 1. If 1 is in row 2 column 1, then it cannot also be in row 3 column 3. If 1 is not in row 3 column 3, then it has to be in row 6 column 3. Therefore value 1 is either in row 2 column 6 or row 6 column 3. Value 1 can be eliminated from any cell that shares a region with both cells. There is an X chain consisting of 5 links in value 1. If 1 is not in row 4 column 7, then it has to be in row 4 column 6. If 1 is in row 4 column 6, then it cannot also be in row 2 column 6. If 1 is not in row 2 column 6, then it has to be in row 2 column 1. If 1 is in row 2 column 1, then it cannot also be in row 3 column 3. If 1 is not in row 3 column 3, then it has to be in row 6 column 3. Therefore value 1 is either in row 4 column 7 or row 6 column 3. Value 1 can be eliminated from any cell that shares a region with both cells. There is a naked pair in box 6. We have two cells in only two possible values to be placed there. The candidates 4, 9 can be removed from all other cells in the same box. There is an intersection with another region in row 6, value 1 has to be in one of the marked cells. So it cannot be in any other cell in subgrid 4. There is an XY chain with three links that starts at row 1 column 8. This cell has only two candidates, 1 and 9. If the value of row 1 column 8 is not 9 then it has to be 1. Thus 1 cannot also be in row 1 column 4. If the value of row 1 column 4 is not 1 then it has to be 3. Thus 3 cannot also be in row 6 column 4. If the value of row 6 column 4 is not 3 then it has to be 4. Thus 4 cannot also be in row 6 column 9. If the value of row 6 column 9 is not 4 then it has to be 9. That is the very value that started the chain. We have now found that value 9 is either in row 1 column 8, the trivial case, or, by following the chain, in row 6 column 9. Therefore value 9 can be eliminated from any cell that shares a region with both cells. All remaining numbers can be solved using naked single technique, so there is no need to explain them one by one. This is the final result of the puzzle. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a video. Thanks again for tuning in and happy puzzling!